We finished the last segment with a great question from Ian and a, and a great answer, but I just want to add just briefly to that because <coughs> you can't pray for the health of five Supreme Court justices as a legal strategy. You can't pray for bad weather as an election strategy. If you leave here with one, with one takeaway, leave with, if not us, who? If we don't work to defend this freedom, if we don't work to defend what makes this country no, no, great, no, no, no. who is going to do it? You know, the left's not going to do it. The mainstream media is not going to help us in that. But leave committed to making a difference and think just for a moment about what this country is going to look like if we lose these great constitutional freedoms. If the other side succeeds, if Hillary Clinton had become president, what would this conversation be? We'd okay. be having a conversation about a Supreme Court that was stacked against individual freedom. We would have a government that was working against us and was being weaponized against us. They haven't stopped with their goal. It's up to us to work together. As far as the, the National Rifle Association, we represent who you talked about, black, white, rich, poor, gay, straight, all different walks of life all across this country who believe that our lives matter, that we have a right to defend ourselves. And the NRA is going to fight unapologetically and as part of this coalition for what's right because freedom's never failed anywhere in the world. All these other ideas have failed, but freedom's never failed. Freedom's not the problem. And whether it's economic freedom, individual, religious freedom, constitutional freedom, economic freedom across the board, that's what we need to focus on. And so I'm, I'm excited that we're having this conversation and I hope everybody leaves here committed to making a difference. It